Hello my shady babies and welcome to my bathroom. Today we're going to be doing a much requested video, my most viewed video of all times and unfortunately I had to delete it because YouTube said so because of, you know, copyright, blah blah blah, plus the lighting wasn't good. And I, I'm not only going to talk about this, I'm actually going to give you guys lots of information and then also lots of help. I did already try to do this video one more time but my camera decided to be a butt. So, we're going to start this all over again. So this is the video, of course you can tell by the title below, How to Lighten a Dark Neck. Before we start this video, I'm going to give you guys some information first. That way we can determine if this is going to work for you. Of course, always, always, always consult your doctor before doing anything. Because a dark neck can be a sign of diabetes, but not always, or insulin issues. I'm going to talk about two different types of discoloration that way you know if this is going to work for you or not. So this is my elbow. Yes, my elbow is discolored. It has been that way since the dawn of angels. It is the way I'm made. Therefore, there is no amount of scrubbing that is going to make this elbow lighter. However, if you want to, if it bothers you enough, you can buy some lightning cream. This is one of the ones that I use. And also I do tend to use Ambi. So that will help that. However, this process will not lighten your elbows and knees. The way you can determine whether or not this process will work is to weigh your neck down and then take your fingernail and scrape it. If there is, and we're going to get up close and personal, if there is like that oil coming off your neck, this was definitely something that will work for you because the reason why your neck might be dark is because you have oil buildup. The reason for that oil buildup will be something your doctor can determine. Always, always consult your doctor. I myself do not have diabetes. I have been tested for diabetes by three different professionals and my blood sugars with the normal range. Not every fat person has diabetes. I had to have this conversation with somebody on Facebook. Somebody who's fat has diabetes. Is it healthy to be fat? Not necessarily. It's not necessarily not healthy. Is it healthy to be too, too skinny? No. It's one of those things, you know? So what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need a washcloth. Preferably one that has some type of texture. I've already started this process once before, which is why mine is soapy. You're going to need some warm water. Um, I like to fill my basin with hot water so as to not waste water. <laughs> Especially if you're in California, try not to like have running water going and going and going and going. We're just using regular garden variety Ohio River sludge today. <laughs> so I'm going to take and you're going to soak your neck with a warm washcloth. You can do this while watching Netflix. A really nice thing you can do is get in the shower with your honey and scrub each other's neck. <laughs> However, I do not suggest using soap. I hate when people lend or borrow out their soap. It's gross. You don't share bar soap. Like I literally do not use bar soap for anything except for this. I'm like one of those, you know, these kind of people, you know, I gotta be bougie with the pump soap. So I'm just letting this soak in my skin and getting it all loose. So the thing that I like to use is something called lava soap. There are other similar products out there. I know there's something called fast orange. I personally have never used it. Lava soap can be purchased from Walmart in the soap section or in the automotive section. Be very careful with the soap. If you have sensitive skin, I would not suggest using this because it's a very greedy soap and it's also a uh, degreaser, which is why it works for this purpose. You can also purchase this from Amazon. You can use the bar or the pump. I use the bar because it's 96 cents and I'm cheap. So what I do first things first is I get the soap wet and I lather it in my hands. And I mean a good lather in your hands. You know, just like you're washing your hands. So that's what I'm, I'm doing here. That sounds gross. <laughs> anyway, okay. Well, this soap actually smells really nice by the way. So my hands are all lathery and monstery looking. So I'm gonna take and I'm going to lather up my neck with it. As you can see, I have quite a bit of darkness and my back of my neck looks atrocious. So we're just gonna kind of get in there, try to avoid the kitchen as most as possible. And I'm going to rinse my hands off because who can do anything? So then I'm gonna take my washcloth. You can also use scrubbing gloves. I would not suggest using one of those little poofs because the grit kind of gets stuck in them. So we're going to use a nice circular motion. 
I'm going to get and granted, I have started this before, but it was a lot darker before I started. This is actually my second time doing it. I'm not pressing down too hard because it's gritty and I don't want to have, you know, I'm already starting to get a little bit red already. But you can already start seeing some of that darkness coming off, some of that oil coming off. And I'm doing the back of my neck really good. That's usually my biggest problem area is right there. <coughs> I'm just scrubby scrubbing, not too hard. Now, okay, I'm rinsing out my rag. Only I would scrub my dirty neck on YouTube. <laughs> if it helps somebody, so what? I got some on my face. So as you can see, all that's gone. It's a little red, of course, because you know, I just scrub my neck. So I'm just gonna go through and wipe it down. This water in here is very gross. This is how you can tell it did its job. We go here. I'm just wiping away. Wiping away. And you know what kills me about this? When I was a kid, my mom would scrub it and scrub it and scrub it until I bled. And people thought I did take a shower. I take a shower every single day and a bath at nighttime. I literally take a shower in the morning and then I take a bath at night because I like to use the like lavender um, bath salt. Not the kind that you get high off of, but the kind you soak in and like soak away the day it helps me sleep and it helps my sinuses so i really do like to soak so it's not like i don't bathe because i definitely definitely bathe when you were a big girl you gotta bathe you gotta powder you gotta you know make sure those thighs don't rub together not related to being clean but good advice <laughs> and never wear velour because you will start a fire between your thighs been there yeah all right so i have cleaned up my neck quite a bit now second step you can do if you want to this water is pretty gross it's just oily water i mean it's oily water and i've literally just took a shower probably a few minutes ago which is why i have no makeup on and stuff like that except for the straggler makeup that nobody can get off anyway so the next thing you can do if you want to i'm not going to just because i really don't need to too much um you can use a whitening cream um i'm not by any means preaching to lighten your skin everybody is beautiful the way they are it doesn't matter if you are mocha caramel chocolate pink green you are beautiful you don't need to change anything this is to correct mistakes on your skin like from scars or from you know discoloration that kind of stuff everybody wants clear skin so this is what i use on my neck i leave my elbows alone because they are what they are they're part of angel like, I have a little discoloration spot on my cheek right here. But, you know, that's like free contour. I mean, seriously. I just leave it alone. It's just the way that I am. So, I definitely want to show you guys this grody water. <laughs> to show you how effective this is. This is getting real personal, y'all. Real personal. This is what the water looks like. Pretty gross. Pretty gross. But, that was on my neck. That's even after showering. So, like I said, this is really, really effective. And, like I said, I wouldn't suggest doing this every single day. This is my little rim light. Isn't it cool? Uh, I would not suggest doing this every day because this is not an everyday kind of process because it is drying. It is definitely harsh on your skin if you do it too hard. Be very gentle and do it slowly. Each day, it'll get a little, little lighter and a little lighter. Starting out, I would suggest doing it maybe twice a week, Monday and Friday. After that first week, just do it once a month. You'll be fine. And then also realize that everybody is colored differently. If somebody's making fun of you because of the way your skin is, then perhaps they are not your friend and other people's opinions are none of your business. Thank you for watching my shady babies. I definitely would appreciate it if you subscribe and be a part of my little babies here. And of course, if you want to know when I come and knocking, definitely hit that bell so I can say hello. And I definitely do appreciate thumbs up. They help a lot. They help me, you know, with my goal, my YouTube career goals here. I love you guys and thank you for watching.